Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to Smart Sand's new sand terminal here in Waynesburg. Uh, for those of you who haven't met, uh, I haven't met yet, or we haven't met, my name is John Young. I'm the COO of Smart Sand, and uh, we're happy to have you here. With this terminal, we're able to reduce the average distance per load traveled by these trucks, uh, yielding an almost uh, an almost three million mile per year reduction in truck travel. A lot of the sand that you see being loaded here today used to come from uh, terminals in Ohio, about 60 miles from here, and most of the work's in and around this area. So reducing that uh, mileage has a distinct impact on the environment. Uh, there will be a reduction, assuming that 3 million miles, there'll be a reduction of almost 13,000 tons of annual CO2 emissions uh, by using this terminal. So how does this facility make an impact on the world uh, and, and make our energy more evolved? It makes our energy cheaper because we're able to cut down, streamline logistics limits the amount of the miles we have to travel to get our sand to our locations. That significantly lowers costs, it makes energy cheaper for people here in Pennsylvania, people here, in Americans around the world, Americans and people around the world. It makes our energy more reliable because by cutting down that traffic time, we're able to be, uh, make sure that we can bring that sand to locations reliably, get it there when it needs to get there and do it even safer. And it makes our energy that we produce cleaner by eliminating uh, millions of gallons of diesel consumption by eliminating this truck traffic. These are just a few things of how this facility makes energy we produce cheaper, more reliable, and cleaner. And that's why we're celebrating. That's why we're here today to talk about the great things. But to come on and to our synergy to Smart Sand, it really is a trifecta which benefits everybody, not just right here in Greene County, but as Toby said, across the country and around the world. This is an issue of national security right now. It has reached a boiling point in Europe. And we know, to, to Toby's point again, we are singing this from the same handle. Yeah, reliable, efficient, effective energy is something that produces freedom. Not just for America, but for the world. And to be a leader in that right here in Greene County is remarkable to, and I know how hard it is, you know, all of you folks around here, we know how hard it is in Pennsylvania in particular. Predictability is a dirty word in Pennsylvania. You can't predict regulations, permitting, tax, nothing, but you're sticking it out. Thank God for that, you're sticking it out. And as legislators, it's our job to try to help you wade through the ridiculousness of the bureaucracy. And believe me, it's pushing rope uphill, and Pam and I both know, and the commissioners know, and there, there, there's nothing harder than to deal with some of these departments in the government of, of Pennsylvania. So we're here to, to stay behind you every single step of the way. You think you need something, call us. Call us. We love to get out there in front of what might be an issue, because we always know there's it's plain whack-a-mole. So we're here to, to be a hammer for you and to make sure that what you're doing right here comes to fruition. The Senator and I were very happy to be able to secure the grant that helps kickstart this project and make sure it comes to fruition. 25 to 30 jobs are projected to be here. That is no small feat for Greene County. And I want to thank EQT and Smart Sand for having the vision to lower the carbon footprint there are going to be less trucks on the road hauling sand. To be able to use this rail system, the rail system is still such a viable asset in our communities. This is a perfect project. The opportunity to have jobs here related to, um, you know, a, a new capability, truck sand in here, ship it out so there's truck drivers, there's equipment operators, there's security issues, all of those in the local community. So if it's 20 to 50 jobs, that's a huge impact to Greene County as we see a lot of other industries uh, wane in this area um, uh, in the population decline. So if we can stabilize population, students offer uh, entry level positions as well as career positions, that's what it contributes to the community. So we're thankful for this opportunity to have a new, new business in town. Um, and we look forward to the future. So thank you. Thank you.